Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I am going to show you online electricity bill payment system in ASP.NET Core, how to design it. Online electricity bill payment, there is the admin section where admin uh, uh, give, uh, put the number of the consumer and the bill number also and the month and uh, click on the search button. When we click on the search button, the respective bill will generated of the customers. Also, a admin can add the personal details of the customer or you can say uh, save customer data uh, in uh, our database. So just it's a save methods that that is the customer number, name, contact number, email ID and address. It is a demo project actually uh, I can I will do it. Uh, uh, and that is the electric, uh, electricity bill calculation system consumer number put search uh, the consumer number uh, like that and bill number month expiry date unit con uh, consumed and are uh, 1 kilowatt per unit the cost also update the 1 kilowatt per uh, unit and after that the customer uh, will search number uh, will search the uh, bill number as well as the uh, month of the um, uh, bill and also uh, view the bills by the customer and pay uh, to the respective online electricity bill system. So how to uh, design that electricity bill system in ASP.NET Core? So preliminary activities uh, is needed in ASP.NET Core. So create a new project in ASP.NET Core via Visual Studio 2019. And uh, after that, <coughs> you have uh, two things first of all that is the uh, admin section and the user section where user can view the bills okay according to their consumer number so uh, that there is the two role in the project that is the first role is the admin's role and the second role is the user role so the primary thing uh, you can uh, do in asp.net core project that is the web application model view controller and after that you can uh, do these things okay so create a new project that is the online electricity bill system and there is here we have a solution explorer and in which we have some missing folder so first of all add uh, or you can say create a new folder the name of the folder is view model so in the, in, the, in future uh, I have to need this uh, folder so the basic things you have to implement it okay so the next uh, folder is the data now the next thing you can do uh, add a connection string in app settings file for creating database so must to add app settings dot session that is the connection string you can add it and then uh, also change the database name like electricity uh, db okay and uh, for you uh, you have to use sql server database uh, sql server package uh, so uh, install by using um, uh, nuget package manager microsoft entity framework core dot sql server okay <coughs> so there is need of sql server package so install it into the system after the second thing you uh, you have to need uh, that is the uh, startup file uh, startup.cs file where you uh, you can add connection string with the sql server so in the configure uh, service method you have to add your connection string like service.addb context application db context options options use sql server and the name of the connection string that is the default connection and use SQL server is the primary uh, and that is available in entity framework core and application db context is not there so just create a new class file 
in data folder that is the application db context So there is an application user identity user create a new class uh, that is the application user class So application db context is um, uh, inherited with the identity db context application user class. Okay, uh, so identity db context application user and install package Microsoft ASP.NET Core dot identity dot entity framework core. Uh, uh, by using find and install so identity db context and application user uh, application is use, uh, user resolved So application there is and also add application db context that is the uh, constructor you can say and in which you can add the parameter that is db context options with the application db con uh, context class okay so identity user And the next thing you can do in your project that is uh, add to identity in the project. Identity a add a new scaffold. Uh, add identity by using scaffolding. So add an identity oops getting an error that is UI error actually so add a new package <coughs> new package from the manage uh, from the NuGet library uh, that is identity dot UI and the package name is Microsoft ASP.NET Core dot identity dot UI That is the latest installed. Uh, again, a new scaffold item add identity, over, uh, override all files, and uh, application DB context is there. 
so electricity billing system is must to add uh, identity servers so here we have uh, added two new user that is first one is the admin and second one is related to the user okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching for the next video tutorial for uh, uh, online electricity billing system thank you very much for watching